remember this. Also, remember me. So, I'm starting late tonight, and I don't really owe anyone any explanations. I don't. I don't have to say anything. Fuck you. The truth is, though, I'm gonna tell you anyway. You know, <laughs> as I've as I've gotten older, um, a lot of my friends had kids and got married, and we <clears throat> we lost touch. <clears throat> And, um, you know, I have a kid now. Um, I, it's called Chat. The kid's name is Chat. Chad. And, um, no, really, though, the, the truth is, though, I, I went out and I reconnected with someone, or two people I haven't seen in about four years. It was really nice, actually. But I ended up uh, drinking, and then I was like, oh, I'll take a nap before I stream. Woke up an hour and a half later. So anyway, um, this game got an update. It got DLC. I don't even remember how to play this game anymore, really. Um, it's going to be a mess. But... I remember loving it, and I figured, you know, something I could play for a little bit. I'm not doing my regular stuff aside from Baba tonight. Um, but I really did enjoy this game a lot, and uh, it did get a big free update. Never completed it. Um, most certainly won't tonight. But maybe we'll see some new content. Vinny, you can randomize loadouts now? Okay. Um, and yeah, after this we'll play some... do some puzzles in Baba, which I, I seem to have had at least minor or minute amounts of alcohol in my system every single time I've played Baba, aside from, like, one. Pretty cool, right? Why do I have so many... Crystals. What am I saving for? Breaking Twister. Oh boy. All of my, um... All of my knowledge... ...is just fucking gone. Another fine work to add to the gallery. Yeah, I would have played Devil May Cry tonight, but I wanted to give Devil May Cry a good send-off, and I, I couldn't do it justice tonight. There's not a fucking chance. Like, I'm already tired to some extent, and, and um... You know, as you get older, your body begins to, um, deteriorate. Okay, we'll try that. And the signature move. Um, I guess we're gonna go wind again? Sure. That's pretty cool. Poison enemies. Um, for those who have never seen this game, this is the Switch version. Which... Some people cannot play. But... You know, I remember enjoying it. What did I play this last year? Vinny Smash tomorrow? Yeah, I, I'm off to work. I, I didn't say that. Will you be watching, I mean, maybe Smash soon? I, I played a lot of fucking Smash over the past couple months. Um, maybe. I needed a little break from Smash myself. 
Vinny, will you be watching the Xbox Indie Stream and PlayStation Direct? I don't... I don't know about those things. What I do know about is tomorrow I have to do my fucking taxes. And I've already done... like an hour and a half worth... of me doing taxes. Over the, the past couple months already. You know, I try to do taxes a bit early. Um, it's a fucking nightmare. Uh, the American tax system is awful. God, it's so, it's so bad, especially if you're self-employed. It just makes things so much harder. And, um, you know, I want to be as accurate as possible because I do not fuck with the IRS like Yoshi does. Okay, I think I, you know, I'm getting the, the feel of the game again. Uh, we may not even see any bonus content or uh, DLC content tonight in this game. I don't know if I like this ice thing. Vinny, can you stream Blaster Master Zero Two sometime? It's really, really good. Uh, they gave me a key for it, <clears throat> which was nice of them. Inti Creates has always been really good to me, and uh, I've heard it was good, and I like the first one. What's going on there? What, are we doing? what button am I pressing? Yeah, I mean, I'll probably stream it. I might not stream it right away. Maybe when I get back from PAX. You know, my first goal is to finish Devil May Cry. Maybe finish Baba as well, if that's even possible. And, uh... I'll probably continue streaming Sekiro. And then, sometime in there, when I have, like, a little bit of time, I'll stream Blaster Master. I hear it's not that long, either. So, it's it'll make for a fun, retro-style stream. Um... Surprise! There's, you know, it's amazing. You can't really, you really can't please everybody because someone just did Baba, Resident Sleeper, and then Sekiro, Resident Sleeper. But I see them both at like every stream I do. <laughs> Video games, Resident Sleeper. Oh, I want this. Can I afford this? No, I cannot. Not yet. Oh boy, this game is, is so far into me at the moment. I don't like my setup at all. So, we, there's the map. Mm. Uh, one thing they needed to work on was this game had some issues on the Switch with some, um, frame delay, which is weird because between Dead Cells and this... Yeah, these- both of these games had some issues. The Switch version was- was pretty far from perfect. But it seems like both have been patched at this point. Um, Vinny, how do you feel about Cuphead coming to the Switch? I mean, it's cool. You know, I talked last night about timed exclusives. And in this case, it's just an exclusive that's coming to Switch, which means more people get to play it. I have, you know, I already played Cuphead, so I'm not going to get it again. But I think it makes for a good portable game. Um, you know, let me clarify. Even timed exclusives from third parties that are on the Switch annoy me. Nintendo is not, you know, um, devoid of blame here. Just on a- on a note of clarification. Um, obviously their first party stuff ain't going anywhere else. So, that's a whole different story. But when it comes to Cuphead on Switch, get it on PS4 too. You know, it's a great game, it deserves to be played. But I think it works especially well on the Switch. Because of what type of game it is and how good the Switch is... ...for indies. So sure, why not? Like, one of the things I remember about playing this game 
last year was the weather was finally starting to get nice. And I remember... A second. I remember... Um, oh, that looks cool. I remember going outside, sitting, bringing the Switch outside, and playing Wizard of Legend for like an hour, and just enjoying the weather. That's pretty cool. That I get to play certain games that are new, and not just like, you know, portable crust versions. Like, um, if you wanted to play Perfect Dark when that came out, portably, you'd have to play the crust Game Boy version. I only wish I could play video games while I was resident sleeping. And that way I could, you know, I could play even when I'm... Oh fuck, even when I'm sleeping. Boy, I got bad at this. Vinny, are you gonna play Cadence of Hyrule? Oh, you ask a lot of the same questions over and over again. Um... You hit that Blaster Master question up like five times. Um... Don't do that. Yeah, I'm gonna play Cadence of Hyrule. Uh, I think it looks great. I can't wait, actually, because Necrodancer was a game I really enjoyed, but never finished, and I never got really good at it. And I think with Cadence of Hyrule, it's a good reason to go back. And it's also a good reason to... Um, listen to Zelda music. And I love the fucking... The, the pixel art. I think it looks awesome. I can't wait for it, to be honest. But, um... Gotta be honest, I'm not feeling that SteamWorld game. The SteamWorld Quest game. Vinny, what's my chat history like? Let's see. Nothing. You got nothing today. You're good. <clears throat> yeah. Regenerate health every time you land a critical hit. That's cool. I'll, I'll stick with that. Vinny, how do I avoid the IRS? You move to Guam. Let's see. Guam is a U.S. territory. You can't escape the IRS, then. So, um, if it- if it wasn't apparent, you get different spells in this game that you can use in- in a number of combinations. And it allows you to customize your lo loadout. Is this any good? Vinny, how many teeth do you have asking for a friend? Uh, 78. 77. What was the... what was the one I liked? Was it the Air Spinner? No, it was definitely not the Air Spinner. There was one that I, I really liked. Wind Slash was basic. No. Knuckles. Bolt Rail was pretty good. I remember using that one. Spark Contact, also good, but you gotta get real close. You gotta get real close. Vinny, how many rows of teeth would that be? Uh... About... 30. Let me see something here. No, I mean, when it comes to... Here's what, here's the teeth I'm missing. I don't know why the fuck we're talking about this. What's wrong with you people? Um, but, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. 
And the answer is, I'm missing three wisdom teeth. So what's wrong with me? What am I telling you guys this for? But I am missing three wisdom teeth, so now you know. I still have one. Yeah. Why do I have one left? Um, I like to chew with it. <laughs> maybe I should get... Maybe I should get it out. Oh, this area is... This is new, right? This area? Or am I not remembering this game well enough? This is a new area? Awesome. Oh, so we get to see some new content already. I already saw a new enemy or two. Oh, for anyone who is thinking about playing Wizard of Legend, this game is hard. This game is very hard. It's rewarding once you get really into it, but good luck, man. Good fucking luck. But I would recommend it, especially now that the Switch... The PC version um, has mouse support, which is preferable for a lot of people, and I, I usually would play... Like, I can't play Enter the Gungeon without a mouse, so I feel that. But this is definitely adequate. The thing about the, the PC version is with the mouse, you can shoot and run in two different directions. Got it. Flame cross. This is new as well. Then I'll try it. Cause I'm I'm getting my ass handed to me using that previous one. Um but yeah, I can't actually wait for Cadence of Hyrule. I think it's gonna be really great. I'm shocked that an indie indie developer got a game or got the license like that, but I think it's a really, it's a really neat idea. And if anyone can pull it off, well, they're not making a Zelda game, they're making a Necrodancer game. So they're gonna pull it off. Which, you know, wouldn't it be nice if Nintendo, like, gave Kid Icarus to Inti Creates, and was like, hey, you wanna make a Kid Icarus game? They fucking nailed the Castlevania formula. They could absolutely do more retro shit. Or like, um, you know, another 2D pixel art Metroid game with like way forward or something. I don't know. Um, but, you know, Zelda's had a couple crossovers and Mario has been in a Rabbids game. So Nintendo, they don't really seem to have much of a problem with that. Maybe they could give Donkey Kong to Rare over at Microsoft now that they're buddies. And we could get DK64 too, I don't know. But, um, aside from Cadence of Hyrule, that, I, you know, revisited most of the Nindies Direct, and there were some pretty fucking solid games. Like, the, the Nindies Directs are actually pretty good now. And I think most of those games are coming out on PC as well, uh, which is good, because not all of them will I want on the Switch. Race forward, leaving behind a frozen deco- oh, this is the- Enhanced version. What's the enhanced version do? Leaves an extra decoy at the end of the dash. That's gonna be cool. So yeah, that's an upgraded version of that spell. The dog sled game looked kind of cool. Uh, that's Red Lantern. Thoughts on the new Tarantino trailer? I I I think it looks all right. It looks like a Tarantino movie. Brad Pitt is settling into his, um, his 50s now. Yep, 
Yeah, Robert Redford. He really does look like Robert Redford now. But, um... No, it, it, it could be cool. I was really hoping he would do a Star Trek movie. But I'm a little biased. I don't know if you can tell. I like Star Trek, guys. Have I, have I mentioned Star Trek lately? Have I mentioned Lord of the Rings lately? But Tarantino was, was talking about possibly doing a Star Trek movie, and he had a neat idea for it, and I was hoping he would do it, but, you know, you ain't. But uh, the other game I was going to mention was that Katana game. Katana Zero looked really good. The Banana game looked really good. That Pinball game looked really good. There was a lot of fucking good titles. And... Plus you have Cuphead, which I'm not getting again, but... There are people that don't have a Spox that are going to be able to get that. And I say the more the better, because Cuphead is probably one of the best-looking indie games. And it's fun, but it's, it's hard as fuck. So, I need a little bit of money. Now, son. Vinny, are we going to have to make you take a shot every time? Oh, I'm not the one that does the shots. Every time you mention Star Trek or Lord of the Rings, too. I've been mentioning Star Trek for years, though. I just, you know, I'm passionate about the things I love. wasn't too bad. Not a great stage clear. You know, I lost a lot of health, but I'm kind of figuring out the game again. So, there was like a mushroom on sale. It's a healing potion. There is a um, small chance to evade attacks. Adds a chance to poison foes. Increases air damage. Um, the Vine Shroom is, is cool. I mean, a health potion would probably be best. I'll just get the health potion, just to be safe, cause considering my Wizard of Legending is really not very good. Hey Vinny, listen to the Red Vox album. Keep up the good work, brother. Thank you. We got some new fun things in the works at the moment. Fun. The game crash? Oh, thank God, okay. Vinny, have you been catching up with last podcast, or do you plan to while driving to PAX? Uh, I will probably listen to one. Yeah. But I haven't been up to date with them lately, no. I plan on listening to more of the Lord of the Rings audiobook while I'm driving up there. I just got to the part where Glorfindel... That's how the... the I've always said Glorfindel. But the narrator pronounces it Glorfindel. And I'm like, oh, that's a little bit more elvish. But where yeah, he meets up with the with the lads. He takes Frodo to Rivendell. <clears throat> yep, take a shot. Go ahead. It's a free one. It's Friday. Have fun if you're of legal age. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna be listening to that, and I'm gonna be probably catching up on last podcasts. And well, I don't know what else actually. High quality threads. I can't afford those yet.
the dude that that destroyed Gothmog is still around. Gothmog was the um I've heard the name, I don't know who it is. The Shockmaster Orc? The Mashed Potato Orc? Well, hang on a minute. Doesn't that Orc share a name with something else? Wasn't there, like, an ancient evil called Gothmog that was not Mashed Potato Orc with, like, crazy face? Because that's the one from Return of the King. It was a Balrog? Oh, okay. I'm looking forward to PAX this year. I'm going to try to hit up the uh, 3D Realms booth and play their new fake Quake. That's actually something I'm kind of interested in. I think they're revealing another game, too. That's not Dusk? No. Dusk is a different developer. But... They are doing, um... So they're doing Fake Quake. A game called Wrath. And, um... Ion Maiden, which is in the Duke 3D engine. And I think they have one more announcement they're gonna be doing at the, um... At the conference itself. That... Is... Very good. I like this resurgence of classic games, and the remake of System Shock 2 apparently looks really good, too. And, uh, I've never played System Shock 2. I always wanted to, so when that comes out, I might check that out. That's made by Night Dive. I need something that increases crits. That would be a great item to find. I just realized something. I'm Doctor Strange. Right? Same guy. You can RP as Doctor Strange. Oh, that's another... That's another thing that's coming out on the Switch. That Marvel Diablo type game. Which... I mean, I'm not really into it, but... That's a weird Switch exclusive. I don't understand what happened there, or why Nintendo has that as an exclusive. Ultimate Alliance 3. Yeah, that's that's just a weird one. It's on mobile. Is it coming to mobile and Switch at the same time? No? It's a different game. The mobile one's different. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't really... Ah, whatever. You know, I'm sure it's gonna sell just fine. Marvel stuff is... You know, I'm, I'm like, interested. That's kind of my... That's kind of my thing with Marvel. I'm, like, interested. I'll see some of the movies. I'm interested in Endgame quite a bit. And, uh, that's about it. For now. Oh, and Spider-Man. And Guardians 3. Alright, so, I like some of the movies. That's fine. But I'm not gonna play the games. I'd probably play... If it was really good, and if it was like, Oh, this is just like Diablo, but... But better. Maybe I'd check it out. I didn't grow up with Marvel. I've said this before. I didn't even grow up with Batman. 
And I'm upset, too, because I missed that Batman animated TV series. You know, the really fucking influential one. The really good one. It's like... Just didn't have superheroes for some reason. Just didn't like them. There we go. That's a good one. Get oh, get all those spells in there. Not bad. Not bad. Ring of Reserves adds more uses to all multi-use arcana. Oh, I see. Gothmog was the Lord of the Balrogs and equal to Sauron. So, when Peter Jackson was like, Aragorn jumped over the hill, and we need a name for the, uh, the mashed potato, sorry, the mashed potato orc. Why did he choose Gothmog? As a name, I, I guess just for, no, for funsies. It's a reference, that's all it is. Um, this will be the end of me. <laughs> wind Sovereign. Throw caution to the wind and give me your all. Get out of here. You see, you see, you see how this goes now. Just dodge the attacks and then wait for the opening. Oh, that wasn't the opening. Run. I run so far away. Okay, now I just have to survive one more thrash. Little bit of a thrash, you know, John. Ah, okay. Sailing against the wind, are you? And catch your breath while you can, for turbulent times lie ahead. Dragon surge unlocked. I don't know what that is, but it looks fucking cool. It, it um, unleash a pair of watery dragons that track and assault your foes. Each dragon's trail is longer and strikes a foe additional number of times. Time to drink liquid. The bar I went to tonight to uh, catch up with the um, old friends. I ended up getting um, Maker's Mark on the rocks. That's my drink of choice for when I do drink. And the bartender was someone I knew years ago. Like, I haven't seen him in a long time. $11 for a Makers on the Rocks. Small drink, small glass. Watered down. As fuck. Now, I know... Listen, I know that bars do that. 
it, you're gonna have a hard time finding a bar that doesn't water down their drinks. But it was really watered down. It's like, why are we paying city prices for what is... I, I could just go down the block and grab grab a bottle. It, uh, it's convenience, I guess. It's like, you know, you're at a bar. Gotta do it. But yeah, I can, I'm getting to the point now where I can almost tell how watered down the Makers actually is. And I'm, like, pretty much only a social drinker, too. I could go, like, a month or two without drinking, and... I don't really look to get fucked up at a bar anyway, but... You know, if you're, if you're charging me 11 bucks... Like, give me the goddamn drink. Sorry, I don't mean to turn this into Vinny Complains... The, the complaint hour, as it usually becomes, but... Gotta get that healing potion. Tozy's Pocket Watch. This relic reduces cooldowns, but also <laughs> reduces signature charge rate. Okay. Applies Toki the Banker to appear in the Chaos Trials. There's a sprite that freezes enemies. Okay. Good water drag. Oh, thank God. <laughs> they pushed them off. The water dragons were like, when I come round. Vinny, how are you this evening? I'm not unwell, thank you. That's my favorite answer to that question. I'm not unwell. Thank you. Vinny, what are your favorite three wacky digits? Wouldn't you like to know? a little hard to keep track of what the fuck the enemies are doing when there's so much on the screen. But I've learned that one of the best ways to handle that is to not look at your character very much, but look at the enemies more. Um, okay, we, we got here a shattering strike. Strike a boulder to shatter it into a ring of shrapnel. I think I'm gonna get that soon and replace my X button with it because I don't like my current X button. It was a foolhardy spell to bring with me. Just get in, cause a ruckus, leave. How similar does this feel to Dead Cells? Not too similar, but 
some of the core roguelike roguelite mechanics are similar. Like the progression. But, um... And the, the action is frantic and fast, if that counts. I'd say that, um... Yeah, Enter the Gungeon is a better comparison. I would say that if you like Dead Cells, though, and you played the fuck out of it, and you have nothing left to do until the DLC, this game is pretty great. Just look into the PC version first before you do the Switch version, because you might... You might not want the, um... You might want the dual um, directional aiming, the directional aiming with the mouse. Damn it. Slowly recovering health, which is nice. Oof! a little rough. Good. What? I just lost 100 health because I pressed the wrong button three times. And that is Wizard of Legend. There are hidden areas too, by the way. And I totally forgot about those. And I don't remember how to see them or find them. Uh, for anyone just joining, I'd like to let you know that Sekiro yesterday was awesome, and I can't stop thinking about it. So, next week, I'll probably return to it. I... am debating playing some of it on my own. So, I might do that. Because it's probably gonna be a long game. But it's a good game. Uh, Devil May Cry will be either tomorrow or early next week, and I'm gonna give it uh, a good stream, like a long one, so we can finish it in style. And, um, Baba may never be finished. Baba may just always linger. Because, you know, it's starting to get kind of bullshit. But, um, aside from all that, Blaster Master seems... Seems like a good... Give me one of your Arcana to shuffle in and I'll let you choose one to keep from my hand. What do you say? Okay. Oh, that's a mistake. I thought it was like, you have a choice of what you want to give the dude. Is it? It should... It's enhanced. Wait, is it enhanced? Did I just trade an enhanced? For an enhanced? Or a non-enhanced? I can't tell. It is enhanced. Okay, so, alright. Um, if it says it, then it is, I guess. Alright, it says here it is a uh, rupture the earth with rapidly tunneling vines to continually damage enemies in a line. Increases rippling duration and distance. Alright. It's cool. Looks good. It's vines. I mean, it's kind of my namesake. So, if I can't win with a vine spell, then I don't deserve to win. It's totally on brand. And that's 100%. I like how that missed. That was- that's extra cool. All 
right. Well, you know, he's dead, so it's all good. No. Maybe I'll just save up. This carrot cake is interesting. I've, I don't think I've seen that before, but I'm not going to get it. Yeah, the vines are cool. I like the vines. I'll save the money for the next floor. This game can become an addiction. Vinny, since you're coming up on 40, <laughs> are you scared of the fact that your vocabulary stops growing at that age? <laughs> what is that sentence? I got like... Just over six years until I'm 40, but is that like an objective truth? Like when you hit 40, your vocabulary just ends? I learned a new word just the other day, it was uh, yeetus. Can you use that in a sentence? Um, I'm going to Yetus that Sheetus. No, but, um, yeah, I mean, I'm not worried about it, but it's, I, my vocabulary hasn't really expanded a whole lot in the past six years anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm... I'm gonna say even more stupider words. One of my favorite things about reading the Game of Thrones book and, you know, the Ice and Fire books was learning what the words um, Mummer's farce meant, but specifically Mummer. It's like a, a clown. So you can learn all kinds of new words just from reading. Not a clown, but like a, you know, traveling, you know, a band of delinquent clowns, I guess. See, now I don't even know what it means. Like a... like a theater group. What's your most favorite dessert ever? My most favoriteest dessert in the, in the whole wide world... ...is a hot fudge brownie with vanilla ice cream... ...on it... ...with hot fudge on top of that... ...and whipped cream. That's close. Let's go down that pit right there. That's fine. Yeah, this is health is, is getting very low. This isn't looking so great. Well, wait a minute. Healing potion. This replica triples the critical hit chance for all melee arcana. Um, basic... ...is not melee. Increases max health. Does that give me extra health? Yes, it is, Vin. It's your... It's only your basic one. Alright, so... My basic one does count as melee, in which case I will save... my money... briefly. That lad... <laughs> that lad was so eager! Hello? Who are you? 
Is there anything quite as splendid as a magnificent pile of gold? Let's make a deal. All your gold for all of my chaos gems. The fuck is a chaos gem? I don't know. I don't remember. It's those blue ones, right? The, uh, not the blue, the ones, the purple, light purple. Yeah! Chaos gems! Mm. Yeah, I don't want that. Ignition drive blasts enemies with a chain of explosions. That is cool. Enhanced basic attacks are really great. But I'm not going to do that just yet because I need to get that katana. So sometimes it's okay to do that. Vinny, do you know, perhaps know something about the Full Sauce channel? Seems certain vids aren't uploaded yet. I know, it's been slow, and I've been vague about it, and I will continue to be vague about it, but... Full Sauce uploads will continue as usual. They're gonna be on time soon enough. They're gonna be all caught up soon enough. Just be patient as much as you can be, and... It'll just be, you know, it'll be fine. What Jeff said, basically. Yeah. It's gone fishing, briefly, but it'll be up. Eat dick. Good. Dick was eaten. Vinny, thank you for the answer. I wish you good luck in this game, and a GN. <laughs> Thanks. This was supposed to be a chill stream. Like, I'm looking at all the shit happening on the screen right now, and I'm like, Oh, right, right, this was a chill stream. I'm gonna get the combo glove, too. So now I go one, two, three, four. Here I come, I come, I come. Fifty health. Fifty health remains. Make that 125. Mercury sandals. Okay, we're going fast. We're going fast. Well, now that I have the katana, I could probably get a little bit more health back.
Oh, we go. Oh no, never mind. We got a boss. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't remember how to defeat these bosses aside from just, you know, live. Fuck you. God, I hate that. I hate it so much. Vinny, I've been trying to correct the misinformation I gave you. Chat gave me misinformation. Vinny, your signature is melee, but not your basic. Oh. more but I'm looking for a better basic ability oh here's the um, chest pieces bouncing surge I mean I do have a lot of my oh I'll get a vine yeah I want that I'm gonna use the vine so we'll go basic vine Vinny, do you plan on playing more Astroneer? I was gonna play it tonight, actually, but Dave is not around, and I figured we're gonna, you know, continue together. So, uh, sometime early next week, I think Dave is doing GDC stuff. be a good signature. I don't like that one. Not into that one. Dragon Surge? GDC equals gross domestic cock and ball torture. That's exactly what it means, yeah. That's pretty cool, but I kind of want... There was a good wind one that I remember liking. That one right there. I 
does good damage. I'll just use that. Um, also, my cloak does things, too. So my, my cloak, I'm, I'm wearing a cloak that uh, increases critical chance, increases critical damage. So, you know, I could also wear the Hobbit cloak here that decreases cooldowns, increases run speed, increases critical chance, increases evade chance. That one could be cool. I mean, it still gives me crit. Let me try this one. And, um, Fury increases signature charge rate, increases signature ja damage. Jamage. That's words. Increases max health, increases healing received. Okay. Check the red cloak again. Eventually. I want to do some damage. <laughs> I'm going to regret this spear. Vine whips are pretty good. But evade is really fucking good. Alright, so we got, um... Cookie, what? Cookie box? I might get that. Health orbs drop more frequently. And it's on sale, too. I probably... Probably definitely want that. Come on, I want the cookie box, please. All right, Arnold, if, if that's what you want. Enhanced bouncing surge. Conjure a spear of lightning that bounces between enemies. So this is what I have, but enhanced. I might want that as well. Let's see how much money I can make. Let's play money-making game. So, New Tame Impala song grew on me a bit. I listened to it again. And it was like... It only took one more listen, and I was pretty into it. What's this pendulum? So yeah, I think it's it's a cool song. It's got like a nice comfy. I, I know that's that's the wrong word for it. I don't even know why I said that word, but it 
feels good to listen to it. Which is also kind of like a testament to his producing. Can you put it for the BRB? I, I did yesterday, but I got pawned for you today. All Australian rock all the time here on Vine Sauce. That was a little bit too close. That was a little bit too close. I'm still gonna get the cookies. I feel like for it's worth it for the sale. Oh! Uh, I, I got this. Reduces all cooldowns. That's cool. Down. It's, adds more uses to all multi-use arcana. And health orbs. Let's hope I can survive. Rely a little less on your Y skill. My basic. My, my hog. Alright. The hog video will be coming soon, trust me. Post some crabs, and eventually it'll show up. Oh, that's cool. I don't even know where I was. Yeah, awesome. Yep. Feels good, man. I guess one more. It's a very addictive game. I'm gonna try the homing flares over here. That'll work. So which cloak? The red red one is OP. Increases max health, increases run speed, increases damage, increases critical chance. Why- why would I- why would I not always use this? Upgraded red is the best. It probably gives less of a boost. That one doesn't have all those abilities until you clear the game for the first time. I cleared this game? Red and blue stats are lower when you first play. Normally that cloak has no ability. Alright, well this is cool. I have no memory of this place. To the SM dungeon. 
I'll be your guide on your journey into degeneracy. Degeneracy. Dege How do you say that as a Scot? Degeneracy. Degeneracy. I'll be your guide on this journey to degeneracy. didn't go through. There's an Eagles of Death Metal song about power. It's like, I gotta get a little more power now. That's, that's Arnold's theme song. It's, it's not even how the song goes, really. I'll have to play that during a BRB sometime. I think the Fire Festival documentary ended with that song. Or something ended with that song. I don't know what the fuck it was. I don't remember. Hmm. Earthquake Axe. Yo, that's cool. Eagles of Death Metal is a blast from the past. They still make new stuff. They had an album, no, maybe like five years ago, right? Or four years ago, Zipper Up, Zipper Down. I don't think they're doing anything right now. It's powerful if you can actually hit with the axe. It's a lot of fucking damage. That does so much damage to me. 75 damage per stone that hits me. Fucking hell. I still don't remember how to find hidden areas in this game. Unleash a protective vortex of fierce winds. That's 200. No, not yet. Uh, I want to hit up the store first before I waste my money on something that I maybe don't need. Like a collector's edition. Vinny, there's no secret areas in this game. The map is all you can see when you fill it out. What the fuck game was I thinking of, then? Not this game, apparently. Enter the gungeon. Oh, right, yeah. Adds a chance to fire off a pair of dragon arcs when using basic arcana. That sounds kind of cool. Augur of Poetry increases resistance to earth-based attacks. Adds a chance to slow foes. It increases resistance to fire and healing. Vinny, do you think concerts are still worth going to if you have to go alone? I go to a lot of concerts alone. I went to Queens of the Stone Age alone. I went to Radiohead alone. And I saw, uh, my friends were there, but they had different seats. 
Uh, I went to Paul McCartney alone. Fuck yeah. Absolutely. I go with friends too, but it just depends on who's available. If, if no one's available, I'm not going to miss out on a show that comes around once every 10 years. I was afraid to go to concerts alone for a long time. Like, what if the dude next to me judges me that I'm not with anyone? Like, really, dude? Could you imagine going to a concert and judging someone for the way they dance? Or the way that they enjoy the music that they're listening to? Or for not having a friend with them? Could you imagine being such a rotten person that that's what you would do with your time? At this concert you spent $100 at or more? No, no one does that. And if they do, then, I mean, that's their loss. But, um, I, you know, when you have social anxiety to some extent, that's what you think of. And I'm lucky, as I got older, I got through a lot of that shit. And, um, I don't have social anxiety anymore too much, but I do get, um, worn out quickly in social situations that last a long time. So, for example, if I'm at a convention, I can do a couple hours at a convention, and I can enjoy it, but then I just, I'm like, you know what, I'm good. I'm done. Vinny, I've witnessed people going, uh, doing that shit at plenty of shows, even some where certain people went to just shit on every band. That sucks. That's just a shame, if you're going to a concert just to shit on the bands. I guess, if you're going to a free show, and there's a lot of, like, amateur bands, and you're judgmental, that's... You know, people, people gonna judge, but... When you are... At... A show that you pay for... Why, you know, like, imagine spending 50 bucks on a show and then judging the band that you're seeing. Like, why would you do that? I mean, that's obviously your choice. You, you, you ponied up the money. That was your choice to see them. But, um, I mean, for the most part, I had to realize that almost no one at a concert cares about what you are doing at said concert and are more concerned about the way they look or the way the, the band is playing. And so, why not go to a show alone? Um, also the dude who joked that, you know, coming up on 40... ...sent me an apology email. And I want you to know, dude who said that... ...I didn't take it. I- it was funny. Honestly, <laughs> it's all good. I liked it. Thank you for the apology email, though, but that was the least necessary apology. Really? I mean... You know, have you seen Twitch chat sometimes? It's the abuse chamber for some people. So, it's okay. My heart has been hardened to it. Okay! Then it doesn't get- you don't get it nearly as bad as a lot of other streamers. Now that you've said that, all that will change, my friend. Jerma's chat literally hates him. I think they don't really hate him. Increases all damage dealt. That sounds good. It's a nice, easy relic to get, you know? I also think that it has something to do with letting out aggression. You know, maybe... You know, who knows what the people in chat have to go through at home? Maybe they have a 
an abusive family or, you know, maybe they have jobs that they hate, that hate them. Maybe they're just not happy people and, you know, they, they go into the Twitch chat and, and they say nasty things because they got to take it out on someone and it's kind of anonymous and... I'm not saying it's right because it's, you know, it's really not, but... It's, there's... I'm not trying to be holier than now with this kind of shit, but... It's the thing that I had to realize about, like, where does it come from? And... I mean... You never know. You, you really just never know where, where it's coming from, and it could be that. Damage increased, but max health is reduced. That's true, Desert. Um... You can't drop this, right? No, it's a cursed item. Cursed items do not get dropped. I mean, I am a damage powerhouse at the moment. That max HP decrease is pretty fucking terrible, though. No, you, you don't want my arcana. Some people are also 12. You know, the thing I was I was mentioning is that the, the collective age of the internet is always going to remain very young. Because... This is my theory. I could be wrong, but I'm gonna tell you a theory I have. And I mentioned this the other day. Not on stream, but... Um... As people get older on the internet, they become less vocal, I feel, and maybe go to corners of the internet where they can just chill the fuck out and not have to deal with stress. Mostly. Not, you know, this is a generalization. I'm, I'm just kind of generalizing here and spitballing, but I feel like the loudest, most vocal people are the younger people that get onto the internet for the first time. And so that's always going to be happening, and you don't know how old people are, so you're going to be on social media, you're going to see some fantastic opinions and cool posting that are, you know, probably going to be from younger people. 15, 14, and I'm not trying to say what, you know, you don't know anything at that age, but you kind of don't. Um, so when they're cool posting and fun posting on them social media, you, you know, you just assume, oh, it's another person like me. I'm this age. They might be a similar age. No, they could be 12. So it's... I feel like on social media in particular, the loudest voices are always going to remain young. It's going to be Lord of the Flies for a very, very long time. Unless we get our very own Teentopia. Like in, um, Hypnospace. What's your average viewer age on YouTube? Um... I'll let you know right now, actually. Give me a second. Like 20s, last time I checked. Um... Don't know how to check. I guess never mind. <laughs> I guess fucking never mind. I don't really know... Damn. I thought I had... This is gonna take some, some time other than me just looking very quickly. I'm probably gonna have to go into some deep options on, um... The YouTube analytics. Demographics. Hang on, I got one for you. Demographics. Here we go. 18 to 24... ...makes up about... 40%. 25 to 34 is 28%. 35 to 44, believe it or not. Here, look, I'll just, I'll show you. Uh, 
Apparently there's some 65 and up. We, we got some geriatrics watching my streams. But there you go. So, a little older than I thought. And, you know, people do lie about their ages online. That's for the main channel. The full sauce, I don't... I don't know. I... I... I haven't met any geriatric, <laughs> geriatric vine sauce viewers, but maybe there's one or two out there. I don't know. Wow. This is what happens when you miss, like, one dodge. I, you know... That's okay. made a lot of mistakes there. Um, I definitely didn't dodge as much as I should have. But yeah, sometimes if you miss one fucking dodge, it's, it's game over, man. So, the new content I saw is good. The game runs well, runs better than it did. The, uh, the game itself is still good and addictive. And I would recommend this game easily. But again, check out the Steam version first. Maybe maybe don't check out the Switch version unless you're like just dying to play it portably, uh, which it is a good portable game. But like I said, mouse and keyboard might be preferable for some people. Apparently, I've been told it makes the game more manageable and easier as opposed to just playing it with the thumbstick. So I'll come back to it. This is a game I'd like to come back to. Maybe when I have less on my plate and I have some time, I would definitely play this game again on stream. It's great. Stick around, though, because uh, we're going to play some more video game. Baba. Bab. Uh, someone said Baba is not DMC5. Correct. I do not have it in me to play DMC5 tonight and make that a good, entertaining stream. I, I would play like shit. DMC5 soon. Either tomorrow or early next week, for sure. But we're going to take a quick break. And, um, all right. All my older audience members, my 65 and up, stick around. Be right back.